عليكم السلام طلع محمد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وصلى الله وسلم على محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين وبعد فإن أصدق الحديث كتاب الله وخير الهدي هدى محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الأمور محدثاتها وكل محدثة بدعة وكل بدعة ضلالة وكل ضلالة في النار The last, in our last sitting, tonight, the, the, fifth, the night of the 15th of the month of Muharram, Al Muharram, 1440, after the Hijrah of the Messenger, alayhi salatu wasalam, from the Taqseem uh, Tawheed, we came to the Al Naw'u Thalith, or Al Qismu Thalith which is Tawheed Al-Asma wa Sifat. And in this, the Shaykh Hafizahu Rahimahullah, Muhammad ibn al-Wahhab al-Wasabi, he mentioned the definition of Tawheed Al-Asma wa Sifat. He say it is to single out Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala, in the names that he, Allah Tabaraka wa ta'ala, has named himself, or Sammahu Rasuluhu sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, or the names that he has been named by the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, by his messenger, or described him with the description that he has described himself, or the description that the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has described him and with these two affirmation and two negation meaning affirming for Allah what he has affirmed for himself and affirm for Allah what the messenger has affirmed for him and negating for Allah what Allah has negated for himself and negating for Allah what the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has negated for himself. And all that has to be done. Min ghayri takyifin, without asking how. Without making similitude with Allah wa ta'ala to his creation. Without making lightness with uh, likeness with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to his creation. Nor with distorting it, meaning distorting the names or the attributes of Allah or rejecting them, or rejecting them. He mentioned, وَلَا تَحْرِيفٍ وَلَا تَعْطِيلٍ Without distorting it and without negating them. And as Allah Ta'ala, he mentioned in Surah Shura, لَيْسَ كَمِثْلِهِ شَيْءٌ وَهُوَ السَّمِيعُ الْبَصِيرِ لَيْسَ كَمِثْلِهِ شَيْءٌ وَهُوَ السَّمِيعُ الْبَصِيرِ there is not, he is, meaning there is laysa ka mithlihi, he is not like nothing, or there is nothing like Allah Ta'ala, wa huwa sami'u al-basir, and he, Allah, he is the all-hearer and the all-seer. Also, in another verse, in Surah Al-A'raf, Allah Ta'ala, wa ta'ala, he say, وَلِلَّهِ الْأَسْمَاءُ الْحُسْنَى فَدُعُوهُ بِهَا وَذَرُوا الَّذِينَ يُلْحِدُونَ فِي أَسْمَائِهِ سَيُجُزَوْنَ مَا كَانُوا يَعْمَلُونَ Surah Al-A'raf verse 180 Allah Ta'ala said what can be translated to mean and to Allah belong the beautiful names all the beautiful names so therefore call him on, by way of them call him by way of the beautiful names وَذَرُوا الَّذِينَ يُلْحِدُونَ فِي أَسْمَائِهِ and warn those who they distort they do al-ilhad they distort in his name. They are distorting the names of Allah. So you, you, Zawna, you, you they will be rewarded. Ma kanu yamalun. They will be punished for that which they have done. Walayyadu billah. So here the Shah Hafizahu Allah also he mentioned. Wa inna ma nuthbit lahu kullu ismin wa sifatin warada fi fi al kitabi aw al sunna al thabita ala al wajhi al ladhi yaliqu bi jalali. Rabbina. 
He say, but as in regard to the names and the attributes of Allah, we affirm all the names and all the attributes that came by way of the book of Allah and the sunnah that is, that is what? Thabita. That is Thabita. And we mentioned yesterday, one of the important reasons why sometimes you hear the ulama, they say, a sunnah a thabita. Right? And this is to Barakallah Fikum. Uh, what did we say yesterday about that? What did we say about that yesterday? Hey, Abdullah, sit down. Huh? That if you have the real and a hard and mutawatil. Right, ahsanta, ahsanta. That some some of the people they will take a hadith that is a hard to say that la yufidu al, ah, la yufidu al, al yaqin. They say hadith al ahad la yufidu al al yaqin. Right. Right? La yufidu al yaqin. They say the hadith al ahad la yufidu al 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 yaqin. But rather yufidu ish al dhan. Right? Hadith al ahad. Meaning those hadith that are uh, what you call them uh, hadith that were narrated only by one companion. They say it is not, it, it, you cannot, you know, it's not, it's not established upon yaqeen. Right? It's not established upon yaqeen. But this is, any talahub, this is like a play that they play, a game that they play in regard to that. That's why as long as the hadith is sahih, then this is nothing else that barakallahu feekum that is to be, to be worried about. Whether it is ahad or mutawatir, whether it was being reported by many companions or it is only reported by one companion, as long as it is sound, that's what matters. So from the names of Allah, so in the, that's why he mentioned this, and this is in, in regard to the aqidah, the creed, right? So in regard to the creed, as long as the hadith is sound, we take it as a belief system. It doesn't matter whether it is ahad or mutawat. It is being reported by one companion or by a million companion. We take it as a belief system. So, yep. Yeah. So, he mentioned here, <clears throat> he say, but we're going to affirm it for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, meaning the names and, attribute, and the attributes of Allah. We're going to affirm it for Allah in the way that is befitting in the way that is suitable, in the way that is suitable, that is befitting for Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala, in the way that is do right to Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala, not any kind of way, but we affirm the names and the attributes in the way that yaliqu bi jalali rabbina, in the way that is befitting to the might and the majesty of our Lord. Not how our rational or feels it, or how our intellect feels it, or how emotions, any day feels it, la. but rather, we will take it how, alhamdulillah, our, uh, uh, that is, how it is suitable for Allah, how is it befitting for Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala. So therefore, nu'minu bi annahu yasma' wa yubsir, we believe that indeed, Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala, he hears. We believe that Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala, he sees. Right, we we believe that he hears, right? We believe that he hears, so we will not make these four things. We will not liken the hearing of Allah to the hearing of the creation. We will not distort that Allah Subhanahu wa Taala hears. We will not negate the fact that Allah Tabaraka wa Taala hears, right? So, amma the reality of the hearing, we affirm it. Now, the reality of the how, we leave it to Allah. Right? The reality of the hearing, we affirm it. And the reality of how to hear it, we leave it to Allah. And we know hearing, barakallah, is what? Idraq or salt. Right? Is it to have perception of sound? And barakallah, even you have any among the hayawanat, right? Among the animals that they don't have the same perception of sound. They don't have the same perception of sound. Right? For instance, you take the mouse. The mouse. Right? The mouse. Janah. Right? Their perception of sounds and how the sheep and the cows perceive sound is they are different. Right? The mouth is not that he will hear or he will see, it, but rather it is like a, a, a 
ultrasound that I mean not ultrasound but like a sense, sense uh, that they they they, they uh, it's like a, some type of sense that they throw they they they, they throw they throw so when it, it they come it comes back to them they know how far it took for it for for uh, for for it took you know in 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 in, in returning to them so that shows them that the distance of the obstacle, right? If it takes them maybe two seconds to come back to them, they know, okay, there's an obstacle two seconds on their left. Or there's another one that is five uh, feet on, on their right. So this is idraku, this is barakallah fiqh, a sense of hearing, which is very different. Uh, you and I, alhamdulillah, it is not the way that we hear. So we affirm that Allah Ta'ala, he hears. And likewise, we affirm that Allah Ta'ala, he sees. Right, we affirm that Allah wa Taala He sees our sight is not to be comparable to the sight of Allah. And those who they deny that Allah sees, because of they measure it in the perspective of the human being, they they analyze it in that which is suitable or befitting for the human being. Right? Why do we say that Allah sees? Right? They they, they why do we say that? Right? For them, it is they, they look at their sight, how limited their sight are. So they would think that Allah Ta'ala, His sight is limited. And, and no one to be, Barakallah Fikum, and He's saying anything that is not suitable, that is not, that is not befitting to be said in, in regards to Allah's right. Subhanahu wa Ta'ala. And indeed, Allah Jalla, He speaks. Indeed, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he speaks. And likewise, he talked about, and this is what we cover, he talked about also that Allah jalla wa ala, he rose over his throne in the way that is befitting his might and majesty. We don't dwell in how Allah is on the throne, but rather we believe that he is on the throne. And al-istiwa, it is ma'loom, it is known, right? It is known, we have to, the belief of it is wajib. Right? Wal kayf majuhul, as Imam Malik rahimahullah mentioned, wal kayf majuhul, the how about it is unknown, but the ask and the asking about it is innovation. Wa su'alu anhu bid'ah. Right? He said that istiwa is ma'loom, it is known. Right? Rose, it is known, even in the, in, in, in the language that you say. Right? Rose, it is something that is known. In the Arabic language, it's known. Tayyip. So to believe in it is wajib. To believe in it is wajib. And to barakallahu fikum. And to ask about it is, is an innovation. Wal-ayyadhu billah. To ask about it is an innovation. Wal-ayyadhu billah. So the qaida in regard to the names and attributes of Allah. And we had covered this. It is that we will not name. We, we do not name Allah our Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala. Illa bima samma bihi nafsa. أو سماه رسوله صلى الله عليه وسلم ولا نصفه إلا بما وصف به نفسه أو وصف وصفه رسوله صلى الله عليه وسلم. He said we will not name Allah of any name except that which